a member state provided information on the results of inspections carried out on material confiscated on 15 February 2011 at the truck at the border of gate with Syria. In a letter dated 28 February 2012, four member states submitted a report regarding a violation of paragraph 9 of resolution 1929 on the launch of the Navid satellite into space using Iran's Safir space launch vehicle as announced by Iran on 3 February 2012. Iran's illicit nuclear program presents a grave threat to international peace and security. Today we are confronted with an unsustainable and dangerous status quo. Without swift and serious progress to resolve the international community's doubts about Iran's nuclear program, there will be further instability in an already tense region. In spite of good faith outreach by the IAEA, Iran has chosen to stonewall it rather than to offer any real cooperation. Iran twice denied IAEA requests to visit a nuclear facility at Parchin, where the Director General reported that Iran may have conducted high explosive tests relating to the development of a nuclear weapon. We all know what full cooperation with the IAEA looks like. Mr. President, this is not even minimal cooperation. The United States remains determined to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. And we remain committed to doing so through a comprehensive diplomatic approach, which includes substantive engagement and unprecedented pressure. As part of this strategy, on March 6th, the European Union High Representative, on behalf of the P5 plus one, offered to resume talks with Iran as part of a sustained process that leads to real progress in resolving our longstanding concerns with Iran's nuclear program.